circles forward. Oh, it's going to be a good one today. I think everybody here has gotten weights and picked them up. Kristen and Maddie, we are going to use some weights today. I don't know if you, I don't think you've been in, but don't worry. I can modify for it if needed. If you can get your cam up, that would be amazing. And we got arm circles going the other way. We should. I don't even think it's throwing everybody up there. I am she. All right, and then we're gonna go crossovers in front. What's up, Susan? Nice to meet you, Susan Filbert. Tom has said many good things about you, of course. <laughs> there we go. What's up, Kristen? What's up, Maddie? All right, let's go shrugs, up, back, and down. Kathy's back. What's up, Kathy? Kelly's popping in. There's so many of you up on the TV now. It's getting small. I'm going to have to wince. All right, let's go back to front. Shrugging back to front. Oh, no, my music's still. All right, let's come up under our toes. We've got calf raises. If you want to get some wrist circles in at the same time, you can. I kind of just do it by habit now. All right, wrist circles the other way as we continue to calf raise. All right, let's march in place, pumping the arms, driving the knees up. Get the knee up high. And now we're going high knees right here where you can stay. And that other option, you can stay right here for low impact. Find the version that's going to work best for you. Yeah. All right, now we're kicking the butt one at a time. All right, and kicking the butt. Pumping the arms again right here for low impact. If the Jumping up and down is going to work for you. Find what's going to work. And going into jumping jacks overhead or low impact. I want you to step to the side. Oh, Tom, I didn't know you could dance. Hello. <laughs> Kelly, what's up? All right, let's go ahead. We're going to move down to the floor. Moving down to the floor. Hands stack underneath our shoulders. You can do this standing too, off of a couch or a chair. We're gonna go ahead and exhale our upper back to the ceiling. And then we're gonna inhale and flatten it out. These are cat cows. Exhaling up and inhaling down. Keep going through that move. Keep going until I tell you to switch. There's a lot of you this morning. Nice, Jen. All right, very good. We're gonna go into bird dog. So lifting our left leg back and our right arm forward, just like this, bringing it back. Then you're going left arm forward, right arm back. Alternating sides. Exhale the arm and the leg up, and then inhale down. Keep going through that. Right arm up, left leg back. Return them. Left arm up, right leg back. All right. Now what I'm going to have you do is kick one leg out. So let's take your left leg, bring it out to the side. My hands blend in with the ground. It's pretty bad. You're going to have your hand on the side of the head. You're going to go down. And then exhale up, inhale down, elbow to the knee, and then exhale towards the ceiling. It's going to open up our chest, open up the shoulders. Inhale down, and exhale. Keep going through that. Beautiful. Try and touch that elbow to the ceiling. Good, Mandy. 
All right, and now let's switch to the other side. So flip flop in your legs, having that one leg out, arm down. We're gonna inhale, yellow down, and then exhale out. Other side. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling this in my core a little bit right now from yesterday. We're a little tender. And let's get one more. All right, very good. Now we're going to move to a low plank. So in that low plank, I want your elbows stacked underneath your shoulders, up onto your toes, keeping a flat back. I want you to drive those elbows down to your toes. Now, if, this, if you feel that in your back, pick your butt up a little bit higher, that's okay. Or you can go from your knees. So find the option that's going to work best for you. I want you to squeeze the core and hold it. Hold it. Good job. Good job. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Is that <laughs> Kathy's got her cat doing a plank with it. Two, one, and good. All right, everybody, let's stand right back up onto our feet. All right, I'm seeing everybody. We're going to move into body weight squats. So feet shoulder width apart, arms out in front, squatting down, and then pushing through the center of our feet. Push the hips through. And we're going up and down. If you need a modification for this, you can do this right off of a chair. If you have that behind you or a couch, giving you that target to drop your butt down to. So arms out as you go down, and then push right up, Tom. There you go. Good job. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to move to alternating reverse lunges. So stepping back and doing a kick out in front, and we're alternating sides. If this is rough on the knees, okay, then let's stick with those squats we were just doing. So stick with the squats if this is rough on the knees. Kick that foot out. There you go. All right. Now setting up in a wide stance, we want our feet out at about 45 degree angle, hands here in the middle. I want you to sit back into the hip as much as you can. Come up, and we're going side to side. So lateral squats now. We can't just go forward and back. We got to go side to side. There you go, nice wide stance. There you go, Tom, good job. All right, and now we're gonna make this a little bit more dynamic. I want you to tap the foot, we're going skaters. Side to side. You can jump or you can step. Whatever's gonna work best for you, I just want you moving side to side a little bit quicker than what we just did. There you go. Tom, let's see that snap of the fingers. Snap of the fingers each time. <laughs> there you go, good work. In three, two, one, and good. All right, let's come to the wall now. Find a spot on the wall. We're gonna go into a wall sit. Feet about shoulder width apart, we're holding this. If you don't have a wall, then I don't know how you do. Let's drop into a squat, do a squat hold. Go ahead when you're ready. Here we go. Nice job, guys. Keep holding. What's up, Maddie? Almost there. Ten more seconds. And three, two, one. Ain't good. All right, everybody, stand right up. Come to the camera. Thumbs up. Who's feeling good? Y'all feeling warmed up? <laughs> Stephanie's kids are beating the crap out of each other in the back. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, great guys. So today we're going to start off with some strength training. Everybody here has got their equipment, I believe. Um, Chris, and thumbs up. Do you guys have kettlebells, dumbbells at all or no? You do. Okay, perfect, perfect. So today what we've got 
Our first one we're going to do is a single arm floor press. We're going to do it on both sides. So you'll be on the floor with the arms straight up like this. From here, you're going to press your belly button down to the floor, bringing your elbow down to your side, and then pressing right up, just like a bench press. So we're going to go through that move. And then we're going to do the opposite side. So that's your move number one. We're going to do all these together, but I just want to go through them all. Number two today, we have a kettlebell deadlift or a toe to -toe. So for the kettlebell deadlift, right, we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart, toes out a little bit. It's a hinging movement, meaning we have soft knees and then driving our hips back. Okay, a squat move would be drop bending the knees a ton. So soft knees, butt back. We're going to squeeze the glutes up until we stand tall, and then we're going to turn right back down, right back up. All right, number three today. We're going to do a low plank toe tap. So we're going to come down onto the elbows, just like we did in our warm-up. Elbows are going to drive down towards your toes, but this time we're tapping the feet out to the side. Very good. Now, you can make that one easier if you do a regular low plank without the foot taps. So, with that, we're going to go through each move. We're going to do 30 seconds on with 15 seconds of rest. I will guide you, so don't worry about timing yourself. I'll tell you when to switch and when to go and whatnot. So, all right, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Brandon, can I just get, you know, I'll do it. That's, that's going to be fine for me. All right. So we're going to get down on the floor. Hopefully you got a blanket or something. All right, starting in our right hand, we're going to go in three, two, one. Exhaling up and inhaling down. Pressing with that right arm up to the sky. Going for 30 seconds. I should probably start the timer, but don't stop. Keep going. Exhale up. And inhale down. There you go. And three, two, one, and good. Let's switch right to that other hand now, and we're going to do the same thing. Go right into it. No rest here. Right into that left arm. Press that weight right up there. Nice shot. There we go. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, very good. And let's stand right up now. I want you to grab your heavy dumbbell, your heavy kettlebell. We're going to hold it in front. All right, and starting in, two, one, hinging back, and then squeezing the glutes, bringing it right up. We want to keep that back straight. We don't want to feel this in the back at all. Squeeze the glutes coming up. There you go, Susan, good job. Susan, if you want, if you turn to the side, I can give you a little more, I can look at your form. There you go, and walk forward just a little bit for me. Good. All right, very good. Moving on, we're going down to those low plank taps. Now again, you can do this up, if, you, if getting up and down off the ground is hard, you can put your hands up onto a bed. You can go foot tapping side to side. Low plank, driving the elbows down, tapping side to side. Keep that back flat. Brandon, if you see any stuff too, you can call it out. <laughs> Good job, good job. Keep that back flat. If you feel it in the back at all, pick the butt up or stop the steps. Keep going, keep going. Two, one, and beautiful. All right, stay on the ground. We're going right back to those floor presses. So lay it on your back. Arms are right up. 
Our one arm is up and the right arm. We're going to three, two, one, and go. Inhaling down, press right up, big exhale. You can have your legs bent a little bit. Nice job, guys, nice job. Pick those feet right up. Don't have the legs straight. It's going to give you a little bit more back support. Press it up to the ceiling. Three seconds, guys. Three seconds. Good. And let's switch. And we're going to go right into the other side. Right into it. No rest. Good job. Belly button down to the floor. In three. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. What am I doing? <laughs> in three, two, one, and good. All right. And now coming up to those deadlifts again. So grabbing the weight. Brandon's here too. We can coach you better if you do a side angle and show us like I'm showing you. It'll be helpful to us to make sure you're doing it right. All right, soft knees, hips back, and then bring the hips forward. There you go. Susan, think about rolling those shoulders back and down. Back and down. There you go, man. You want to keep the back straight. Good, Tom. Tom, try and stand tall each time, as tall as you can. There we go, perfect. There you go, Emily. Way to pop the hips. Two, one, and good. All right, back down to those low planks. Low planks. So elbows underneath the shoulders, foot tapping side to side. So again, we can modify that up onto a bench or a couch or whatever you have, just like I'm showing right now. We don't want to feel it in that back. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Good, Kathy. Good, Steph. Looks good, Debbie. In three, two, and good. All right. Manny's dog, Manny's is, dog nice. is freaking out. <laughs> He's losing it. All right, right back up. Go up. I'm sorry, stay down. We're on the floor presses. We're on the floor presses. And go. So exhale up and inhale down. I just like to make you guys get off the floor and then get back down and jerk that way. <laughs> Good job. How are we doing, Ed? Inhale down, exhale up. Keep that elbow to your side tucked in. We don't want it out too far, flaring out. Almost chicken wing it. And switch right to the other side. No rest here. Go right into it. Nice job. Look, we're all on pace. We're all, we're all lifting it at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. We've got a connection. 15 seconds. Good work, guys. Good work. And three, two, one. All right, now we're standing up. We're going back to those deadlifts. Back to the deadlifts. Starting in five. Two, one, and go. Hinging back, pop the hips forward, squeeze at the top, return right back down. There you go. There you go. Way to get those hips through, Tom. Good job. Good, Susan. Your back looks much straighter there. There you go, Steph. Good, Jen. Good. Nice, Kristen. Nice, Maddie. Almost there, guys. Five more seconds. Get a few more in. Two, one, and good. All right, now we're going to those low plank foot taps. All right. Elbows on the shoulders, and here we go, out to the side. Drive those elbows 
to the toes. Keep it going. We got 10 seconds. In five, two, one, and good. All right, everybody. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Grab a swig of water or whatever else you got. That's good. We are uh, through the strength portion of the workout. It's time to get some of the smaller muscle groups. We get a little cardio. Grab a drink real quick. All right, so for this one, guys, you're gonna need your light dumbbells. If you don't have light dumbbells, grab those soup cans or something that you can lift out to the side. This is gonna be super heavy. Cool. And I think that's, that's all we're gonna need. So the first move, I, you can just follow along. Uh, as we go here, so I'm not even going to demo them all. We're going to go 25 seconds on with 15 seconds of rest. So let's let's do this. Just adjust, just adjust my timer here. All right. So we're going to start off with jumping jacks, starting off with jumping jacks. Have those weights ready though for in a little bit. All right, 25 seconds, starting in three, two, one, and go right here. And low impact for this, you're stepping side to side, just like me, or you're right here. And look, we all have different speeds for these jumping jacks. You can go through the motions, or you can push yourself. So find that happy medium. Three, two, one, and good. All right, grab those, grab those dumbbells here. You know, if you have a shoulder issue, or if this is going to be painful for you, we don't want to push through pain. It's lateral raises. You've got this right here coming out to your sides. Shrugs is the alternative. It's your shoulders bother you, so up, back, and down. Find the one that's going to be best for you. We don't have to do many of these for them to, to work. Three, two, one, and good. All right, going down to the floor for bicycle crunches. The modification if up and down on the floor is not... The best way you got power knees. This is your modification. Otherwise, you have bicycle crunches on the floor. Go right into them, guys. Go right into them. Good job. Good job. Elbow that opposite knee. Squeeze the core. Squeeze it. Two, one, and good. All right, now we're gonna grab your dumbbell again. You can stay here in a tall kneeling position or standing, or exhaling up, bringing it right back down. So make sure that you're not hyperextending here. We're gonna avoid that. Tuck your ribs, squeeze the glutes, going right overhead. All right, very good. Moving on. We've got the mountain climbers caught up. So you can have your hands elevated on something like this or your hands on the floor. And three, we're right here. Three, two, one, and go. Drive those knees. Yeah. Keep it going, keep it going. There you go, good job. Try and get that knee to your elbow, knee to your elbow. Yeah, you had it, Tom. Right here, just like that. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, and good. All right, 
And now flip it over on your back here, or you have toe touches. Can you show the toe touches for me? All right. So if you hear glute bridges, so pressing the glutes right up. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. I'm sorry, I had martial class. Glue bridges, frog glue bridges. Three, two, one, and good. All right, let's stand right back up. You may see a change or two in this one. We're going to go back to our jumping jacks. I'm going to change the timing just a bit. Just a bit. Seem really fast pace. All right. It's going to feel a little bit different this time. We're going back to the jumping jacks. Here we go in three, two, one, and go. Jumping jacks. Good job. Can you actually snag a photo of like back here? Yeah, I'll be in front of the screen. Good work, good work. Raise the roof, touch the ceiling. Five seconds, five seconds. Two, one, and good. All right, grab those weights. We're going lateral raises again, lateral raises. You have the modification of a shrug, up, back, and down. Oh, yeah, try and show me in the screen. Here we go, let's go. Keep working, guys. Squeeze the glutes. Make sure you're not hyperextending the back. We don't want that. Take it at your pace. You can burn out quickly here. Good job. Woo! Keep going, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and good. All right, down to the floor for the bicycle crunches or modification. Right here, power knees is another great option for this. So you have that. Three, two, one, and bicycle crunches, go! Good job, squeeze that core, make sure you're breathing, relax that neck. There you go. 
and the triceps. Good, Debbie. Keep those ribs down. Keep them down. Ooh. And three, two, one, and good. All right, back to the top. All right, we've got some foot flyers. We've got some foot flyers subbing out from the jumping jacks. I'm gonna mix it up, foot flyers right here. Two, one, and go. Tom, I know you know what these are. I know you're good at these. <laughs> foot flyers, keep them going, guys. It's steady, it's 30 seconds. You can do it, don't stop. Here you go, Maddie, this is defense right here. Get ready for next season already. 10 seconds, keep it going, guys. Keep it going. And five, three, two, woo -hoo. and good, that one burns. All right, lateral raises or shrugs coming up. Lateral raises or shrugs. Three, two, one, and go. Fly, flappy bird. If you feel any pain in the shoulders, that's not muscle pain, shrugs, up, back, and down. There you go. Nice, Tom. We got 10 seconds. Nice, Carly. Two, one, and good. All right. Out of those bicycle crunches, bicycle crunches on the floor, or you've got the power knees. Power knees or bicycle crunches. Three, two, one, and go. There you go, relax that neck. Make sure you're not pulling on the neck. I like to put my hands right on my temples. And think about squeezing your core, getting the upper back off of the floor as much as you can. You're gonna get even more contraction there. There you go. Nice job, Kelly. Good hand, good job. Two, one, and good. All right, now we're going to the mountain climbers. So hands underneath the shoulders are right here, or again, you can elevate yourself like this. Find the one that's gonna work for you. Two, and go, mountain climbers, try those knees, squeeze the core. You guys are doing great. Push yourself, push yourself. If you're able to go a little faster. But don't sacrifice for them, all right? You got this, keep going, we got 14 seconds. Nice, Steph, good job. There we go, Jen. Man, those feet are moving, Jen, good job, good job. And awesome. All right, now we've got the frog glute bridges or marches. So if you're standing, you're marching in place. If you're frog glute bridging on the ground, weight on the hip, feet together, lifting right up, up and down. Go ahead. Yep, so Tom, you guys, you guys are going to march as you're in path. Yep, you got it. Good job. Relax your neck on the floor. Don't copy me. I'm trying to look at you guys. Make sure we're on the same page. Nice, Crystal. Way to work. Way to work. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Even hold it for an extra second. If you want to get a little bit more engagement. Three, two, one, and good. All right. We've got the tricep overhead extensions. Wait here. Squeeze the glutes up overhead. If this bothers the shoulders, Let's go back and do a jumping jack if this bothers the shoulders. Ribs down, ribs to the belt buckle. Burn out those triceps, burn them out. There we go, don't stop. As Mandy's shirt says, pain uh, is weakness leaving the body. I knew that saying, I just trying to read it. And good. All right, guys. That was three rounds. Take us with the water. We're going off the cuff now because we got a finisher. 
We got to finish here. Grab a drink. We're going to do this. I don't know about you guys got for music right now, but I got some smooth jazz playing through my earbuds. It's great. Very motivating. <laughs> All right. Everybody grab your band. I want to hit the upper back a little bit. The upper back. <clears throat> so I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. All we're going to do, all we're going to do is band pull aparts. And I want you to get as many as you can with good form in two minutes. So this is what we don't want to see. Okay. What I'd rather see is locking in the glutes, squeezing and right back and doing that for a steady pace. Do that for two minutes. That's going to help your posture. Your upper back is going to be lit up. You're going to feel amazing and you're going to hate me a little bit. So let's, let's get this going. Two minutes. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. Squeeze that upper back. Find that pace that you can continue to go. There you go, there you go. Keep those arms nice and straight. Notice how I don't have bend in the elbows. We don't want that. Nice and straight out. And I'm focusing, Brandon, come right out. See, Brandon, put your fingers right into my shoulder blades. So right there, I'm trying to squeeze his hand with my shoulder blades. Just like that. Keep going. No steady. It's going to burn. <laughs> I heard him. I squeezed his finger too hard. I didn't pull it, though. Got to be safe. All right. Hey, if you need to stop for a second and shake it out, that's okay. If you need to reverse grip, you can go palms up. Tom, if this bothers the shoulder at all, like in a bad way, Okay, then just put the band underneath your feet and go into curls. But only if that's starting to bother your shoulder in a bad way. Keep them going, guys. Keep them going. We've got one minute to go. Woohoo! Oh, boy. How you doing, Susan? You holding in there? <laughs> oh, man. You guys are much stronger than me. I got to take a break. <laughs> Almost there, guys. 30 seconds, 75% of the way. Oh, God. It's killer. Hey, nice you job. got that. Nice job on the way switch. <laughs> you got it, Dan. You got to keep pushing. We got 20 seconds. Woo. And 10 seconds. You got it. A few more, a few more. In five, two, one, take your bed. Chuck it on the ground. There you go. All right, the alarm is up, everybody. Grab a drink, I'm gonna grab a drink. Let's meet back here in one minute for a stretch. Good job. <laughs> oh no, that sucked. <laughs> this worked well. And so I, I have my like, pretty low. But. All right. Let's get to our, get into our stretch now. So, what we're going to do is let's uh, have our feet uh, hip to shoulder width apart to begin. Hands to the side. All right, big inhale up overhead. Reach to the ceiling, stretch it out, stretch it out. You want to try and separate your vertebrae and your spine. Doesn't that sound good? And exhale down here. To the side. All right, big inhale up. Reach right up. Take an easy gaze up to the ceiling if you'd like. 
And this time we're going to exhale, fold forward. And hang out wherever it feels comfortable. Stay right there. You can grab onto your elbows. Breathe into the belly. And exhale out. All right, inhale back up over the head. Wide stance. And we're going to exhale over to the right leg. And in the stretch there. Hold in that position. I'm counting for you. Keep focusing on your breath. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth. All right, inhaling up. And exhaling to the other side. Perfect. Want to feel that all through the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your calves a little bit. Hold this right here. All right, very good. And come right back to a standing position. We hit the shoulders pretty hard today. Let's take our right hand. What's up, Susan? We're going to go across. How are you feeling, Susan? Is that a good one? Not a good one? Was it good? All right, Debbie's got the foam roller. <laughs> All right, let's switch to the other side now. And I said, ooh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, now let's grab our elbow, bring it overhead, and think about pushing your tricep forward. Good job. Yeah, do your best there, Tom. Just go where you can. Good, Kathy. How you feeling, Crystal? Feeling good? Awesome. And we'll switch to the other side. We just got Anne ceiling. <laughs> oh, she must have two open. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go ahead now. We're going to... Come down to the ground. I want you to lay back. And I want you to take your right knee and give it a hug. Pull right in. Now think about your opposite leg. I want you to point the toe up and back of the knee down. We want that bottom leg as straight as possible. The heel is on the floor, though. All right, and now very gently, we're going to do a spinal twist. I want you to take that knee that you're hugging and let it just fall over wherever it goes very gently. Go where it lets you go, but don't push anything here. Hands out to the sides if you'd like. Palms up. Keep getting that breath back. All right, and bring the feet back to a starting position. We're going to hug the opposite leg now, knee to the chest. Remember, the opposite leg is going to be straight on the floor. You want the toe pointing up and back of the knee pressed to the ground. All right, and now taking that knee, we're going to twist it right over, very gently. Hands can be out to the side. Don't push it here. 